Hey everyone, Daniel here from Twin Star Telescopes and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up our 60mm refractor telescope in just a few easy steps. You can also view the printable setup guide in PDF form on the website at www.twinstar-telescopes.com if you'd like. Inside the box you'll find your telescope tripod, your telescope tube, an angle prism, two eyepieces, a finder scope, an erecting eyepiece and an optional Barlow lens, as well as a solar system map and a large moon poster. And now that everything is out of the box, it's time to move on to step one. So go ahead and grab your tripod for this one. Once you've got your tripod, you're going to want to go ahead and spread the legs apart and then grab the middle bracket and push it down into place like this. Then take all of your clamps here and go ahead and release them to extend the legs down. Once that's done, simply reclamp everything to lock them into place. You can either extend them fully or just to your desired height. And once they're all down, I'm going to clamp them back. Once you've got the legs extended and locked into place, there's a knob right here that you can undo and raise the mounting panel up a bit with. Once you've done that, go ahead and re-tighten it back. Try to remember that you shouldn't over-tighten any knobs or screws on tripods. A firm tightening by hand is what we're going for, but don't tighten it up too much. And that's it for step one. Now let's go ahead and grab the telescope tube for step two. For this step, you'll want to locate the screw that's beneath the mounting panel here. This is the screw that you'll be tightening once you've got your tube in place. Now to make this easier, what I'll do is loosen my handle here and tighten it up here. And I'll take this knob right here and loosen this a bit to raise our mounting panel up slightly. And then I can tighten it back into place. Now let me show you what's happening. You've got a panel right here on the bottom of your telescope. You'll align it with the screw here, but you've got to make sure that the end of the telescope is facing away from the handle here. So the end of the telescope, handle that way, put your telescope tube onto the screw, and then we'll be tightening that uh, knob right here at the bottom. And then you can take, once you've done that, go ahead and loosen your mounting panel again and tighten it back into place when it's leveled up. And that's it for step two. Now it's time to insert the angle prism and the eye pieces for step three. We'll be inserting the angle prism here into the back of the telescope. So go ahead and start loosening the screw that's right there. And when you're done that, go ahead and take out your protective cap. Then you simply replace the angle prism inside and tighten your screw back up like so. Now go ahead and grab one of your eyepieces and remove the protective caps. We'll be inserting it into the top of the angle prism here now. So go ahead and loosen the screw that's on the angle prism. Drop your eyepiece in and tighten the screw back up. I recommend starting any observation with the 20 millimeter eyepiece because it's the lowest magnification eyepiece and it's actually much easier to find objects and really get them into focus. And you'll also see that it has a bigger opening than the other eyepiece and we call that the field of view. Once you've focused in on a space object, you can change to the other eyepiece simply by loosening this screw here again, removing your eyepiece, and swapping it out with the other eyepiece. Just remember to retighten your screw when you're done to hold it in place. And that's it. Pretty easy, right? For step four, we'll be attaching the finder scope. So you'll want to go ahead and locate your finder scope now. For this step, you'll want to locate the two plastic nuts here on the side of your telescope. Go ahead and unscrew those now. Once you've done that, go ahead and take your finder scope and place it so that the larger end of the finder scope, this part here, is facing the same direction as the telescope. Then you simply tighten the nuts back onto the screws to secure it in place. It's worth noting that when you're looking through the finder scope, you'll find that objects will be inverted or upside down. And this is perfectly normal and it won't affect your observations of the night sky. And keep in mind you're only using the finder scope to help you aim the main telescope itself. Besides, there's no right side up or upside down in space. 
Your final step will be to align the finder scope with the main telescope, and the idea is to have both the main telescope and the finder scope pointed at the same object. And this is easy to do, just point the main telescope at a stationary object about 50 yards away during the day, like maybe a parked car, and then bringing that object into focus. Then without moving the main telescope, look through the finder scope and turn the finder scope adjustment screws until the finder is pointed at the same object. And that's it, you're ready to use your telescope. Now, if you prefer to use the optional Barlow lens or erecting eyepiece attachments for more magnification, I'll go ahead and show you now how to modify the setup here to make them work. The Barlow lens is an add-on that increases the magnifying power of your eyepiece, and this allows you to achieve higher magnifications with a wider field of view. That being said, it can be a bit tricky to use, so we recommend you holding off until you're more experienced with your telescope. In order for the Barlow lens to work, we need to replace the prism. So let's go ahead and unscrew the prism and its eyepiece from the telescope. Now we'll place the Barlow lens into this side here and retighten our screws. And once you've done that, go ahead and loosen the screw on the other end of the Barlow lens here and replace it with your eyepiece. Then tighten the screw back up to lock that in place. Now you've got some added magnification for your telescope, and you can attach the 1.5x erecting eyepiece the same way. It will invert objects when you're viewing through the main tube, and it will increase your magnification by one and a half times. We hope you enjoy your Twin Star 60mm refractor telescope.